welcome back to my channel. I'm Hayley of So Hayley Jane and it is unboxing day. Um, you might have noticed on my YouTube channel I have been doing something a little bit different. The last, two, pretty much the last two years, the only um, video content I've managed to do is the monthly unboxing videos and even then some a couple of months I have missed. So. Um, but with my three-year-old in pretty much full-time nursery now, she's in there four days a week, I am managing to get a little bit more done. Are you on a bit of a wonk? I've just realized, I feel like you guys are a bit wonky. There we go. Um, so I'm able to do a little bit more content and I thought I would have a go at Vlogmas, um, which I'm really enjoying. But I think because it's such different type of content to what the YouTube algorithm is used to for me, um, I don't know if it's um, if it's showing up very much, to be honest. It feels a little bit like a tumbleweed situation, but I'm going to keep going with it and hope that, um, you know, I'd like to do more of that kind of content in the new year. Um, but obviously I will still be doing my monthly unboxings because that is what So Holy Jane is all about. So if you are new around here, um, if you have come to me from, because of Vlogmas, so I run So Holy Jane, which is a sewing subscription box company. So every month I send my wonderful subscribers gorgeous boxes. They are themed every month and they are curated around that theme. There are three different sizes. There's the mini box, which is £20 a month, the classic box, which is £35, and the luxury box, which is £65 a month. Um, and in those boxes, you get dressmaking fabric, craft fabric, and the luxury box gets a pattern from an independent pattern designer. There's usually a gift, a sewing themed gift in the classic and luxury boxes from um, a lovely independent maker or designer. A few haberdashery notions, a sweet treat, and a mini magazine that I produce every month as well, full of inspiring um, interviews with creatives and with my lovely Sohili Jane community. Um, so yeah. Uh, the website is open for new subscribers who will get their first box in January 2022. We are there. We are coming up to the new year. Ah, it is. What is the date? I don't even know what the date is today. The 9th of December. And I haven't started any Christmas shopping. Ooh, I'm starting to feel a bit tense about it, I'll be honest. Um, but there we go. Hopefully... Lots of you lovely subscribers have your own Christmas gift arriving or has arrived with you already. It's pretty good that I am actually doing this video the day after the boxes went out. So nobody's got their box yet. So that's exciting and I'm feeling pretty proud of myself for doing this in such good time. Anyway, shall we have a look at the boxes? Shall we have a little dive in? I've got the luxury and I've got the classic box here. So here is the luxury box in all her beautiful glory. So it is December. So I have gone with a slight Christmassy theme, but not like in your face novelty Christmas. The theme is paint the town. Um, now, when I created these boxes, Omicron wasn't a thing. Who knows if we're gonna be painting the town red or not, I don't know, but whether or not we are, whether or not we're back to doing things all through Zoom again or not, I have created a box where you can hopefully make yourself a really beautiful, a really special outfit for the festive season, for the party season. Party in your own house, get yourself the Prosecco and a box of chocolates, get out the good biscuits. There's a, a Christmas advert this year. Whose Christmas advert is that? Oh, I think it's Freeview. Get out the good biscuits, I like that. Anyway, so hopefully you guys still like this box, even if we're not actually painting the town this month. Who knows? A lot of it, I think, is the media just making us feel a lot worse about things than we need to. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we can still paint the town. We can paint 
the town at our sewing machine and have a lovely time. So that's what this box is all about. Colour, celebration, uplifting. I hope it's doing its job. So every month I create this little magazine. Who can believe that this is issue 37? Already we are on issue 37. It's nuts. Um, and I love, I've gone for this like confetti on the front. And there's always an introduction from me at the front. And then I've got um, an interview with Liz Harry, who has created something for the boxes. Liz, I believe, I don't know if I've dubbed her this, but she is the queen of colour. If you check out her Instagram, at Liz Harry Design, honestly, the colour is amazing. Uh, we have Make of the Month. So I'm not going to show you all of these things because they will all be up on the blog in a few weeks' time as well. Um, but Leslie used the blue viscose jersey from last month to make the kilo wrap dress, um, which I've actually seen quite a lot of people making the kilo wrap dress out of last month's jersey. Um, three makes, th uh, three boxes, three makes are uh, my lovely ladies, Esther, Laura and Gemma. I was about to say Lemma. Esther, Laura and Gemma who get the fabrics in advance and they make something and write something for the boxes and they did a cracking job. Um, then Tamlin also gets the fat quarters in advance and she puts together a little project tutorial. Um, Tamlin, who is sewn on the tine, you will probably know her from her YouTube. Um, and she made these bottle gift bags out of the fat quarters, which I think is a great idea. And you've got a full step-by-step -step tutorial. Then my little links, just things not necessarily sewing related that I am loving at the moment, that I'm reading, watching, baking, cooking, listening to, those kind of things. Then the profile is with Lauren, who is at It's Me Lauren F on Instagram and YouTube. She has a YouTube as well, and she's also doing Vlogmas. Pattern picks from the lovely fold line ladies with a little 10% discount code for your party dress. The makers gallery, some of the lovely things that you lot have been up to in the last few months. And I did say last month that I had put in a new page, but I was going to probably um, send it off to a professional designer to get them to do a better job. And I sent it off to Clem and she delivered. Ha, isn't it beautiful? So this is a what's in the box page and then a what shall I make page where you can write down any notes that you want to make. Um, so yeah, she definitely made that look a lot better than I did. Um, so thank you, Clem. You probably don't watch, but just in case, thank you. So there's the magazine. Okay, into the luxury box as we go. It's not Christmas in my mind without chocolate coins. So there's two chocolate coins in every box. I had to keep batting Andy's handy away. Andy's handy? <laughs> I had to keep batting Andy's hand away to make sure that we had enough for all of you lovely lot, which luckily we did. Every box has a reel of Gutterman thread to match the main fabric. A little goodie bag. Um, and in here are some little plastic buttons that I think look like Christmas baubles. Um, there's different colours, so there's six in a bag, da -da, da -da, da -da. and they're little shank buttons, and they've got a slight sort of pearliness to them. Let me see if I can hold that one up for you. There's just a white one. We've got yellow, purple, red, blue, and, oh, we can't see that green um so yeah just some a lovely little collection to add to your stash um, always love the paper bag as well nice and lovely uh the fat quarters oh, are gorgeous now i need to shout out to paula and to my lovely mum and dad so um christmas fat quarters sell in like march so we had to find something and I'm glad we did because these are perfect, um, but they had to be cut and folded. So we got them in September and Paula made a start on cutting them and then my lovely mum and dad 
love them so much they folded them for me um but they are metallic rainbow christmas fat quarters so this fabulous one has got the reindeer in rainbows and then metallic snowflakes this one's got rainbow and metallic snowflakes and stars on a navy background this one is a red background with metallic sort of um vines and rainbow bits i don't really know what you call them but beautiful all the same this one is a creamy background with rainbow christmas trees and metallic snowflakes gorgeous and then the final one is a gray background with metallic snowflakes and stars and rainbow doves just beautiful absolutely stunning and i am planning to use tamlin's tutorial from a few months back um, to make a reading cushion for and well, well mine andy's niece and nephew who are hopefully coming for christmas from singapore fingers crossed so i wanted to make something that could be packed up small to put in their suitcase i will obviously give it to them with a proper pillow inside otherwise it's going to look a bit rubbish and a book to take home as well um so yeah if you are sending christmas gifts abroad something that you can pack down that is really handy the pattern in the luxury boxes this month is the gabby dress from the pattern preacher which is dubbed an adventurous beginner and it's got this sort of off the shoulder um what's it called a boat neckline there we go off the shoulder boat neckline and they said this brings you 1950s film glamour in this classic flattering dress shape. Think Grace Kelly in Rear Window or Marilyn Monroe in Some Like It Hot. Love that movie. Um, so yeah, and you can make uh, optional tie belt as well. Optional sleeves, cap sleeves or long sleeves. Print, plain, lightweight silk or firma, brocade. Lots of different options. So that's beautiful. Okay, now for the bit that I think I'm probably the most excited about. Liz Harry, I mentioned we interviewed her in the magazine. I got in touch with her actually not that long ago um, and asked if she wanted to create something for December's boxes and she jumped at it. She had a design sent to me by the end of the day and we confirmed and sent it off, I think the next morning or even that evening to the manufacturer um, and they arrived and they are so beautiful. So she made these enamel pins. Bring it close so you can see. It says, um, so this is Christmas and it is a beautiful uh, sort of old fashioned sewing machine with Christmas decorations. And it's so gorgeous. It's got a double pin because it is quite heavy. So be careful what you put this on. Maybe better on like a denim or corduroy um, pinafore or dungarees or put it on your bag or something. I wouldn't recommend putting this on a lightweight jersey or anything too floaty, such as what's actually in the box. Um, but yeah, a denim jacket maybe. I love it, I can't wait to start wearing mine. It's so pretty. Okay, the fabric, the fabric in the luxury box is gorgeous. It is from Lady McElroy and it is called Polished Pebbles in Wine, and it's a viscous, a viscous Moroccane crepe, and it is so gorgeous. So it's not as lightweight as a viscose or a crepe, but together it is quite, it's got good weight to it, you know, good amount of weight, you can sort of see, and drapey and absolutely stunning. And it's polished pebbles, so it's got sort of a wine coloured background with these uh, pebbly print, but I love particularly this bright blue. I think it just pops out so gorgeously. Um, and make sure to check out the blog in a couple of week, weeks to see what Esther made, because it is stunning. She had this fabric and it is absolutely beautiful. So that is the luxury boxes. I shall pop that there. And move on to the classic boxes, which came in two different colorways. So obviously the classic box and the mini box all starts with the magazine. 
and the classic and luxury box only have the pin from Liz. The mini boxes don't have those. Um, chocolate coin. Matching thread. The bauble buttons. There are four fat quarters in the classic box and three in the mini box. And then the fabric is stunning. It's a um, shimmer viscose and it comes in either red, oh, look at that, it's so scrummy, or this, this is just an off cut, this pinky purpley colour. But look at the shimmer, it's so beautiful. It's almost got like a two-tone effect, effect, and even the back is gorgeous as well. So that's the back and that's the front. So pretty. Um, and yeah, this one's a sort of red wine colour and the way it shimmers is just so gorgeous. So in the magazine, Gemma and Laura actually ended up with the same colourway. Totally my fault. I got totally confused as to who was having which box this month um, and ended up sending them both the same. So <laughs> they both got the red colourway. Um, Laura had the mini box and she made, do, 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 where is it? It was a bias cut cami, I can't remember what it's called, the Sicily slip dress, but as a top by Mason Patterns. I hope I'm saying that right, Mason Patterns, um, which is just so perfect. Um, she had to, you have to read when this goes up on the blog because she had to cut an extra piece to make it fit on the mini piece of fabric, if that makes sense. It will make sense. If you read the blog, it will make sense. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Gemma had the classic and she made the Nina Lee Bakerloo blouse. Just look at that collar. Oh, so gorgeous. And then Esther did a, just a mashup. What patterns did she use? So she made this stunning dress absolutely beautiful and she used what did she hack uh, da, 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 da. so she used the bodice and sleeves from mccall's 7279 um and then she slashed and spread the sleeve to create more of a balloon shape for the sleeves using a tutorial from by hand london and then the skirt is a simple A-line using New Look 6346. Um, and then she added a frill as well. So yeah, she really went for it with that one and it's gorgeous. So there you go. Those are the boxes this month. I hope you enjoyed having a peek inside. As I said, the website is now open for new subscribers to get their first box in January. Um, I can't believe I'm talking about January already going to be 2022 that is crazy um and yeah i hope you enjoyed looking in and i also let me know if you are watching my vlogmas as well i would love to um, know what you think of it i'm hoping to do more of that kind of style of video next year probably definitely not daily but maybe like a weekly vlog style I don't know. let me know what you think have a fabulous day everyone and i will see you all really soon bye